Hello everyone. This is Christian, 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 uh, and this is my second video tutorial. Uh, and this is the picture we're gonna make today: the milk carton with Snoopy on it. And by making this, we need two pictures, and these are the ones. Uh, choose the Snoopy picture. Drag it over here. Uh, as you can see, it's three lines here, and two sides, left and right. And first off, I'm making the picture big enough for the biggest line, the longest line, so I know it's big enough for the other ones as well. So I turn down the opacity just to see the line through here and how long it's supposed to be. Uh, press Command T and make the picture big enough hold shift to keep the proportions and as you can see now it's from the top here to the bottom here and it's bigger than these ones so that's good um, press command T right click and choose distort and uh, take this corner here and drag it down to this one, go down, take this corner, drag it to this one, and now you take this corner, hold shift while doing this, uh, only this corner, uh, to keep the proportions right, uh, and make this line go next to this one. Go up, again hold shift on this corner, just to keep the proportions there it seems pretty good press enter and now you can see you have this side here and now it's this one press M to get this selection tool uh, go on in this corner here pretty close to it go down pretty close to this one as well and then drag it out to the edge of the milk carton here. Uh, press command T, right click, distort again, and uh, go in here and drag it up here to this corner. Go up, drag this one in here, and I'm going to drag this one just a little. There we go. And as you can see, it's now perfect. And it's the bo both of the sides looks natural. Uh, but if you push, put the opacity up again, you will see that the edges are disappearing, so it doesn't re seem real at all. So what we're going to do is go to this select this option here, click on it and choose linear burn and now we can see the edges has come back or some of it. This side is a little darker so you have natural lighting and edges and everything. Um, press command U or control U if you're on a P uh, Windows. Um, take this one a little down a little more color, make this a little lighter, like this maybe. Uh, looks pretty good, good enough for this tutorial at least. Um, as you can see here, we still have this white line because the milk carton goes down a bit. So what we're going to do is take Oh, because we have liner burn on, you can't just select the color and... Oh, you can. My bad. This was a stupid mistake. Anyway, how I usually do this is not just to use the stamp tool. I'm selecting... Uh, I'm going next to the line here. Press L to use this tool. You should use pen tool, it's a lot better. 
uh, like that. Then you can use the stamp tool here. I always use a soft brush. Press. You hold Alt. Stamp tool is the tool here, by the way. Uh, this tool you can press Alt on the uh, color or the picture you want inside here. So you press Alt, click, and then go down here, and you can see the cross over the circle, and that's where the uh, circle is taking the color from. So you just go like this, and that's pretty good. And now we have this edge also. So if you want to take away this line here, you can do the same. Um, but you have to do it on the mill carton layer because the black line is here. Um, whoops, it oops. To get this top part here blue, you just select the mill carton. You should use pen tool. Uh, it's a real good tool and you should know how to use it. Uh, press I to get the color from the box, uh, box here, from the carton. Fill it in the selected area and just adjust the color so it fits or match perfectly. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're done. I think, yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, and if you have any requests, just let me know. And I will probably do it. So see you later. Bye.